what's up no means i miss you guys so 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 much it's your girl nisha and i'm finally finally coming back to youtube for you guys with another video now i know i already came and told you guys at the beginning of the year that i was back and then i disappeared it was a good reason i'm gonna keep it short um my nephew the one on this shirt um he had sma and he actually passed away it's a whole long story but that happened at for my family and then after that i went into a crisis from stress from that and went in the crisis and now all this covid stuff and so that's why i'm here so okay y'all know me and y'all know i like to do research and y'all know from the last video that i told you guys that i made a whole bunch of changes and I told you guys that I was going to start sharing those changes with you. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys the tips that I've came up with. Um, sickle cell and COVID-19 tips. Um, Nisha's sickle cell and COVID-19 tips. These are things that I already do even before COVID-19. Um, there's only a few things that I do different now because of the COVID-19 and those two things would just be social distancing and wearing a mask. Those are the only two things that I do. I'm only going to share five tips. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet for you guys. Okay, so the first tip, um, y'all follow the CDC recommendations, you know, they're the specialists, so make sure that you follow that. You know, the social distancing. I'm looking down on my hand and dandy notebook. That's what I'm looking at, y'all. Because I want to make sure that I tell you guys everything that I have written down. Because, like, I literally, like, it's a lot of stuff, like. And I'm going to make sure I cover it in short and sweet time. But, yeah. So, if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. Okay, so, follow the CDC guidelines, um, recommendations, I mean, for for covid and the social distancing, staying at home as much as possible. If you got to work, you got to do what you got to do. I understand. Or if you got to go out, you got to do something. We got, we all have things that we have to do. I got a doctor's appointment Monday. I'm going to have to go out. So, but try to stay home as much as possible. Try to stay away from anyone sick. Now this, I would, I used to do that before COVID-19 because with sickle cell, I know that my immune system is not as strong because my blood doesn't have everything that it needs to support my body so I catch things easier so I already already before this used to try to stay away from sick people and right now obviously no visitors that goes with the social distancing and follow your normal doctor's orders y'all don't be doing trying no experiment stuff this is not the time to be experimenting like stick to what you know right now so that you don't make yourself go in a crisis and end up having to go in the hospital because this is one of the worst times to be in the hospital right now okay the other thing, um, second thing that I recommend is to boost your immune system. Again, this is something that I did before um, COVID. I always used to try to boost my immune system, and I do that through several ways. Um, I take different supplements that helps build my immune system, like Inconacea, vitamin C, vitamin B. I try to make sure that I hydrate. Now I try to drink a gallon of water a day. Before, I used to make sure I drunk half of my body weight in ounces. But now I drink four of these a day. So I try to stay hydrated. Um, another way to boost your immune system is your diet, fruits and vegetables, um, citrus fruits, vitamin C, green peppers, any green foods, um, green peppers, broccoli, spinach, things like that. Um, grapefruit, oranges, lemons, limes. There's so many things, y'all. Almonds, yogurt, ginger, garlic, red peppers, turmeric, green tea, and green smoothies. I drink green smoothies every day. Well, at least I try to drink one every day. That's my goal. Um, but that's another way to help boost your immune system. And the third thing that I would recommend for a tip is keep your mindset right, y'all. Like, do not let this mess up your mindset try to stay positive don't fear trust god and trust your sickle cell instinct you know like spider-man got this you know his spidey senses we got us too so the stuff that's kept you alive with this disease make sure that you guys remember that don't 
stick to that stuff. Just like how I said with the not being around sick people, that's something that I knew with this disease that I shouldn't be doing in the first place. That's the type of thing that I'm talking about. Um, another thing as far as the mindset. Um, oh, and like I said, trusting your sickle cell instincts. Y'all remember, you got this. You live with this disease all this time. You got this. Don't let this shake you. Make sure you guys, for your mindset, what I do is I read my Bible, I pray, I meditate, I do yoga, I listen to affirmations, I say affirmations. Um, I just try to do positive things like these little things you see on there. Those are affirmations that I keep to surround myself with to make sure that I'm positive and my vibrations are high. Okay. And the fourth thing is... Um, cleaning this is also something that i did before now i always did kind of like a spring cleaning and i'm saying spring cleaning but i really did it every time the seasons change is how i did it and do it in my household um try not to fall behind on your chores with germs and all this extra stuff going around this is not the time and i know sometimes that's hard being a sickle cell warrior but that's why i said try um the next thing is you don't have to like be going super crazy like deep detail cleaning make sure you wipe in like surfaces doorknobs um light switches places that everybody touch all the time and obviously washing your hands and the fifth thing that i recommend is exercise in-house or in your backyard away from groups so that you can follow the social distancing of course um don't go overboard because you don't want to go into a crisis we know that can happen um, for me, I'm doing yoga and stretching, squats, lunges. I do my stairs in my house when I can. Um, small weights, two pound weights, like, or ankle weights, things like that. And if you don't have weights, child, you can use some canned goods, okay? Um, make sure that if you are going to work out that you hydrate before, during, and after so that you don't make yourself go into a crisis and do not overdo it. That's that's huge. And the reason I recommend exercise, exercising is because it's good for your overall health and it helps release stress. So, I mean, all these things, like I said, are things that I did anyway, but I feel like they're good sickle cell COVID tips that we can be using right now. And I know right now, like everybody's freaking out because things are so different right now. So I just wanted to make sure that I come back and give you guys some tips and say, hey, I miss you guys. I'm definitely back like i'm for real for real for real for real for real like i'm literally trying to do a video at least once a week i got nothing else to do now so but that's it guys i miss you know me if you're new thanks for watching subscribe and thank you thank you thank you for sticking around with me guys and praying for me like i really really appreciate you guys and that's it i will see you in the next video peace special shout out to my sister laura love you sis